What's up everyone, it's Jamison from NYC Tech Club and in this video we are going to show you how to use WooCommerce to make an online store with WordPress. So what you see right here is a WordPress website that we have integrated with WooCommerce to create an online store and we're going to show you every step that you need in order to get your website up and running so that you can sell whatever type of products that you want with WooCommerce and WordPress. So if you want to learn how to use WooCommerce, how to set everything up and have your own WordPress website, your own online store, keep watching because we're going to show you everything that you need step by step. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is we need to get hosting and a domain. So Hostinger is where I'm going to recommend that you go to to get your domain and your hosting. And there is an affiliate link in the video description. So if you click on it, you'll come to this page right here. And that just helps support this channel. So I do say thank you and I appreciate it if you do click on that link. And hosting allows you to store your content and manage your website, install WordPress. And it's really just what runs everything. So you have to get hosting in order to run your own website. And I've used a lot of different host providers and I do think that Hostinger is one of the best ones out there, if not the best. I have no stress, no anxiety, no worries with Hostinger. And that's why I really recommend them. They're not only cheap, but they have great customer support and I've actually never had to contact them for any issue. So that's also a plus and a bonus to me. And you get a free domain. You can install WordPress with one click and then you also have these tools that they integrated with AI now, so you can create content for your websites. And there's a 99.9% .9 uptime. So again, I've had no issues with Hostinger, and that's why I like to recommend them and also why I use them. Your website's practically never down. Your website is pretty much going to be up and running all the time. And I think you can't guarantee 100% of the time, but I would almost guarantee your website is gonna be up 100% of the time with Hostinger. And you also have a 30 day money back guarantee, which is pretty normal with a lot of the host providers. So this is also just a way to really reduce your risk and also a good amount of time to know whether or not you want to build and run a website or not. So I recommend Hostinger. So again, if you do click on the link, then you'll come to this page right here and it does help support the NYC Tech Club YouTube channel. So I want to say thank you in advance. And once you scroll down, you're going to see the different web hosting plans right here and we have the premium and the business plan and it's really up to you which one you want to choose i think i would just go with the premium plan because you have enough storage you can host up to 100 websites here and the weekly backups are for at least me good enough and you also have the free ssl certificate which is going to secure your website you have unlimited bandwidth and you can connect your domain to create your own email address and with wordpress we can install it and then we can install whatever plugins we need, including WooCommerce right here, so that we can have an online store, which is what we wanna to do to build out our e-commerce website. And with all of these, you have the AI tools, the security, money back guarantee, the 99% uptime. So again, if you want, you can look into the business plan. This is what I have for my websites or my hosting plan. But if I was to kind of redo things, I might just choose the premium plan. So again, I'll let you decide which one is best for you, but I'm going to click add to cart here and I'm going to move on to the next step. So if you guys want to do the same, go ahead and click on that. And what you want to do here, and I'll walk you through it, is you want to choose the period of time that you want hosting. So again, just remember that you do have the 30 day money back guarantee. And what I recommend is 12 months just to give yourself enough time to know whether or not you want to run a website or not. I think sometimes with one month you have to generate traffic or you need to build things up. So it takes a little bit of time sometimes. So I do think that the 12 months is best and you do get a free domain with this sign up. But you have these other options also if you want to kind of reduce your rate a little bit per month. Okay. So once you're ready, you want to come down to the create your account and you can just put in your email address and create a password. And I've already done this. I already have hosting with Hostinger, so I don't need to do this. But if you need to, you can pause the video in order to fill this out. And then I'll let you guys put in your payment information and all that right here. But I do want to just share with you that we do have a coupon code. So you can see that there is already a discount if you use the affiliate link right here. But you can also input this coupon code to save some additional percent or money, whatever you want to call it. So it's super one zero, super 10 right there and click apply. 
and you'll see that the discount actually increases. So just make sure that you put something in like this super one zero. So just make sure that you put in the coupon code in order to save that extra money right here. And then once you're ready, just put in the rest of your information and then click on the button right here that says secure payment. And once you register with Hostinger, now you should see this page right here and we have to go and register our domain. So let's click on the start now button. And what we can do is click on the button that says I am creating the website for myself. And right here, it's going to ask you who's creating this website and we can just click on I am building this myself. And then you can choose whichever type of website that you want to build. And right now we are building an e-commerce website, so we can select the online store option. And right here, we are going to learn how to make our own e-commerce website with WordPress. So we can click on no thanks and we want to create a new website. So we are going to click on select under the left hand side. And we want to click on the bottom that says, I'm going to create this website from scratch. And right here, you should see the option to claim our free domain. So we are going to select that and we need to search for the domain name that we want to use. So you can type in a name and then you can go to the drop down and select the .com or .net, whatever option that you want. And if you see the search results and the domain is available, then we can just click on continue. Otherwise you have to search for another domain. And now what we can do is we can complete our domain by registering everything. So we're going to put in our business information. So I'm just going to click on next step right here. And if you need to pause the video in order to put in your contact details, go ahead and do that. So I have everything filled out right here. So I'm just going to click on the button that says finish registration. And now we can see our host location and our domain and we can click on the finish setup button. And once everything is set up, now what we have to do is we have to install WordPress. So we want to click on the control panel button to manage our site in order to do this. And this is the Hostinger dashboard and we want to go and install WordPress for the e-commerce website. So what you can do is you can hover over website on the left hand side. And once you click into it, we want to click on the auto installer. And on this page right here, you can see that you have the WordPress option and we want to select that and you should see this pop up. And what you want to do is type in a website name. So you can always change this as we go through this video tutorial, but go ahead and type in something right now, as well as your email address and then your admin name that you want to create and then also a password. And then once you're ready, go ahead and click on next. And then on this page right here, I like to select the always update to the latest version. So I'm going to select that, but you can keep it as the middle option if you want. And then just click on the install button to install WordPress. And once everything is installed, you should be redirected back to the host in your dashboard. And now you can see that we have this button right here that says edit your website. So we want to go to the admin panel for the e-commerce website. So go ahead and click on this button right here. And now you should be redirected to the WordPress dashboard for your own e-commerce website. And this is where we're going to go to edit our pages, update our blog posts, and we can upload our images or content. And also where we can go to install the theme that we're going to use for the e-commerce website that we're learning how to make. And also where we can install plugins, which are tools that help you customize the WordPress website. So back here on the WordPress dashboard, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go to the settings just to show you in the general settings. So hover over settings and click on general. You can change your site title here. So if you want to change the name of your website, you can do that, but don't change the WordPress or the site address because you can't change the domain that you registered. So don't mess up your website by modifying this. But here on the admin email, you can update this if you want to use something else. And we will have a video tutorial showing you how to connect your domain name to create an email address for your WordPress website also. So look out for that and I'll leave a video link in the description section once it's done also. So if you do make any changes, you want to click on save changes down here. And then what you can do is under settings, you can also go to permalinks. And if you want to change the URL structure, which I recommend to the post name option, so that's what I'm going to select, go ahead and do that. It's just more SEO friendly. So I'm going to click on save right there. And if you want to see what the WordPress website looks like right now, before we go and create our e-commerce website, 
you can click to go to your website or type in the web domain and this is what you should see. So all I did was I hovered over the website name and I clicked on visit site. And this is not the e-commerce website that we are making today. This is a WordPress theme that uploads some content and this is just some generic stuff. So we're gonna go back to the WordPress dashboard and to do that, I'm gonna hover over my website name at the top and click on dashboard. And again, this is the WordPress dashboard. So this is the back end where you can go after you log in to modify your pages or edit your website. So let's go and install the theme that we're going to use today to create our e-commerce website. I'm going to hover over appearance and click on themes. And over here, what we can do is click on the button that says add new theme. And once we're here, what we're going to do is you have these free options at the top to screen for different types of WordPress themes. You can type in in the search box the theme that we're using, which is Bloxy, but it should be one of the popular themes. So if you just scroll down a little bit, you should see it right here. So if you need to, you can type this in to actually search for it. And then you can click on the details and preview. You can see that it has a five star rating and it's just going to be able to let you customize your e-commerce website in so many different ways. It's an awesome theme that is free. So that's why I really like it also. So we're just trying to save as much money as possible to create a really professional e-commerce website with WordPress. So if you guys want, go ahead and click on the install button right there. And then once it's installed, you should see this activate button. So go ahead and click on that also. And now you should see your theme right here and you can go and check it out if you want. You can click on visit site. But right now what I want to do is I'm going to just install the Bloxy companion. This is going to give us all the theme options, the starter templates and any type of extension or plugins that we need to make our e-commerce website. So I'm going to click on this button right here that says install the Bloxy companion. And once it's installed, now I should be redirected to this page right here. And you can see that there is a link over here on the left hand side. So if you ever want to come back to this page, just click on that link. And in the home tab right here, this is where you can go to modify your colors, your font styles, your header, footer, and everything else for your website. And there's also tutorial links over here for the Bloxy theme if you need some additional help but we're gonna show you how to use it and how to create your e-commerce website with WordPress in this video also. So what we're gonna do really quickly is we're gonna click on the starter sites tab right here and you can see that some of these are pro so that means they cost money but a lot of these are free and they're professionally designed templates where you can check them out. So there's templates for all different types of websites, business websites, e-commerce websites, online stores, photography, all that stuff. And if you scroll through these and you like any of them, what you can do is you can click on the preview button and you can check it out. So this one should look familiar because this is the e-commerce website that we are going to learn how to make today using this starter template. So a lot of the design features are very similar to this one. So this is the garter robe template. And if you want to check out any of these other ones, by all means, go ahead and do that. You can again, click on preview and you can see that this is a yoga website and you can come in and you can just substitute out the content, the images and whatever else you want. You can remove stuff if you wanted to change the colors, super easy. And that's why I'm excited to show you how to use the Bloxy theme for our e-commerce website today. So I'm going to come back up to the garter robe option and you can see that we have these options for the page builder, Gutenberg and Elementor. So these are the page builders that we can use today. And what I wanna do is click on the import button first and if you want, go ahead and do that also. And then we don't need to install the child theme, so I'm going to click next right here. And it's up to you which page builder you want to use. We're going to use Gutenberg because it's more native to WordPress. And in this video, we are gonna be using this one. So if you wanna follow along, then it makes sense to select this. But we do have other tutorials on how to use Elementor with WordPress. And we'll probably create some additional video tutorials with it. So for now, I'm going to select Gutenberg and click on next. And then these are the plugins that they recommend that we install for the starter template to create that online store. So we are going to be installing these. And then we can also import the demo content and we can always remove it and delete it as we go, which is probably the best option for us. So to make things easier, all we have to do is just install all of this 
and then we're going to have our e-commerce website on our own domain once everything is installed. And this is the WordPress website right here. So again, this is the Bloxy starter template, and this is just one of the many that you can choose from. And this is the e-commerce one that we selected for the video tutorial that we are putting together. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to use the page builder and then create some sections together. And then with the training or the exercises that we do, you should be able to go in and customize whatever you want, change or remove or even add things. So if you want to see what the page builder looks like, you can click on edit page and we're going to go through this exercise to show you how to edit and create this section right here. And on the edit page right here, if you hover over any of these sections, you can see that there is a blue box. And then if you click into any of these, what you'll notice is over here on this block tab, you have the module that shows up that you can edit. So you can see right here that this is a heading and we can just customize or change the text here. And then this is a text box. And then this is a heading and this is an image. And if we scroll down, we have some additional headings and icons and so forth. So all of these are different sections. And again, this is your page builder. And whenever you click on a section, you'll be able to edit the layout, the style, and then go into these advanced tabs right here and modify whatever you want. So I will walk you through and you can do it with me. We're going to open up a new page and then we're going to create this section right here with a lot of the formatting and really just show you how to use the page builder. So at the top over here, if you want to see how this page or any of the pages that you imported are set up, you can always click on this document overview and you'll get this pop up. And these are all the different sections. So you can see that at the top, we have a column section and then this is where the icons are. You can see that we have this little blue box hovering when we hover over this stuff. And then we have all these other sections that are created to make up this entire home page. And if you want to edit anything, you can go into your tools here and then you can undo and redo. If you want to add modules, it's going to add it to the bottom and then you can always go and move it wherever you want. So what you have to do is click on the plus button here and then you have all these different blocks and I call them modules and I guess the WordPress builder use blocks right here instead. So you can call it whatever you want, but all you have to do is just click to add whatever you want. And we're going to be using these stackable Bloxy companion ones to really customize our site. Okay. So I'm going to leave this page builder open. And again, we're going to show you how to build these first two sections. It'll be a great exercise. So I do recommend that you kind of follow along. Because after that, I think it's going to be very easy for you to really customize your entire site yourself. So I'm going to open up a new tab over here. I'm going to click on the W and it's going to open up a new tab for me. And I want to go and I want to add a new page. So I'm going to click on add new page. And on the add new page right here, I'm just going to do exercise one. And this will be for the home page or for those first two sections. So we can click to save this as a draft if you want. So the first thing that we're going to do over here is we want to create the section. So to do that, we can click on the plus button right here, or you can click on the plus button at the top. So it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to click on the plus button up here and we're going to use these stackable modules or blocks. So we want to click to add a column first. So I'm going to do that and then we can click here. So it just makes that plus button section disappear. And then we can click on the two column sections, so 50, 50. And then the first thing that we can do is right here, you should see the section. So this is the inner row and then this is the parent section. So you can see if I click on select columns right here, what that's going to do is in this block section, it's going to go to the columns. So go ahead and just click in here and then click on this icon and you'll see the columns right here and we can come and change the width. So I'm going to type in 45 over here and then this side will change to 55. And then for the block width, I want to go with the full length option or the full width. And then for the content width, I'm going to go with align center. And once we do that, we can go and to the style tab. And what we want to do is enable the background and we can come into the background color, but you can always add your own background image if you want. And I'm going to select the palette color number five. So this is exactly like the demo e-commerce website. 
And then what we can do, if we needed to, we can go into the advanced tab and go through any of this stuff, but we don't need to. So we can click on the add block right here for the right hand side. And if you don't see the module or the block that you need, you can always click on browse all and it'll expand this section. So what we want to find is the image. So once I select this, you can see that it gets inserted right here and now it updates right here for the block and we can just click in here and then we can select the image that we want to use. So you can always upload your own right here. I'm going to go to the media library and just select this image and then I'll click on select and you can see that it shows up right here. And then if you want to change any of your settings, maybe the height or the width or any of the overlay colors or anything, you can do that in the style tab. And you can also go to the layout tab to change the alignment. But we're going to just leave it just like this. And then we can come into this side right here and I'm going to click into the inner column. So I'm just going to click in here and then we have our inner column and I want to go to the layout tab and I'm going to align everything to the center. So I'll click on this and it's just going to move this block section down and then we can add our different blocks. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add this header section. So I'm going to copy this and then we will come over here and click on the plus button and then we have our heading right here. So I can click in there and I'll just paste in that text. And then if we want to format this to look like the demo website over here in the style tab, we can go into typography and we can change the width if we needed to. So let's say we wanted to do 500. It's a little too thin. So you can do 700 or you can just leave it as the default, which is what I'm going to do. And then we can change this to 1.3 to give it some more spacing for the line height. And then I'm going to come down to the size right here and change this to 70. And if you wanted to change the color, you can do that right here, but I'm going to leave it just like this. And then I'll come back over here and I'll click into the bottom section over here so that I have this plus button again and I can click on that. And now what we can do is we can browse all to find the text module. So I'll scroll down and find that right here and click on that. And once that gets added, you can see it right here. So I'm going to go to the demo WordPress website and just copy and paste this in. So I'm going to just copy that and you can type in your own section or maybe you don't even want this and you just want to know how to do this. So you can always just add whatever modules you want and you'll see that it shows up right here in this text box, the content section. So we can change the text color if we want. So I'm going to just select the black color and then for the typography, I'll come in here and I'll change the weight to 500. And now what we can do is you can see on the demo website, this is kind of interesting. There's these three columns right here with these icon labels. So this took a little time to figure out, but if I click into the section again, I'll have the plus button and you can always add some spacing if you want. So maybe we'll space this out a little bit afterwards, but we can go and click on the browse all and you can see that we have the icon label right here. This is what we want to use for what we saw on the website. But actually, I'm sorry about that. I want to add the three columns first. So I'm going to remove this if I can. I'm going to click into this section and then just click on delete right here. And down here again, I'm going to click on the plus button and add a new column section. So we'll click on that and we'll choose the three column section. And then we can add the icon label into each of these. So right here, select that. And I'll do it three times right here just to add these before we go in and customize them. And then for these labels right here, what I want to do is in each one, so I select this one, I'm going to go to the parent section. So select the icon label and then change the icon gap to 30 right here. And that's just going to make everything closer just like this. And then we can change our icon also once you click into it. So right here, you can just click into your icon and you should see a bunch of them upload. So you can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to choose this eye right here and then we can change the color if we wanted to. So we have our icon color right here. I'll select this and then I can come into the label and we can just paste in top brands right here. So let me just copy that and we will just paste that in and then we can change the HTML tag on the style tab for the heading to the paragraph. And then I can change the typography to 500. And then I can also change the color right here if I wanted to. 
and my icon looks a little large so I'm going to change the icon size I'm going to just come and I clicked on the icon so that I came into the style tab and then I can just choose how big I want the icon to show up so maybe something like that so how much what was that size I didn't even look at that 20 right there okay so now we can do that over here also so I clicked into the icon right here and I can change it by just selecting the icon that I want we can choose the color and then we can put in 20 right here for the size and I want to change the gap for these two sections so right here click on the icon label and then change this to 30 and then we can put in our text right here so on the demo e-commerce website I'm going to highlight the high quality right there and then we'll paste that in and then we can change our formatting for the heading to paragraph and then again the 500 for the weight and then change the color to this color right here and I can do that one more time so we'll just do this example again so I clicked into the section I want to click on this button right here that says icon label to go to the parent section and then in the style tab I can change this to 30 for the gap and then we can click on to the icon and change the icon to the one that we want change the color and then change the size to 20 and then what we can do is for the label we can just copy and paste what it says right here on the demo website so it says free delivery and I'll paste that in right here and then we can change the font formatting also so again what we can do is go into typography change it to 500 and I want to change it to paragraph and then we can do the color that we want and now you can see that we have our section right here and if you wanted to add some more spacing you can come over here and then I think you can drag this to make it larger or smaller so that's something that you can do if you want and then same with this section right here if you wanted to add some spacing so I'm just playing around with it a little bit just to show you so I'll do something like 36 px let's just not get too particular and now what we can do is we can add our button to the bottom so again I'm gonna click into this section on this row and down here I will click to this corner so that I can add a new block and I want to add a button so I'll click into browse and we will find that button right here and then it's gonna get inserted here I don't know exactly why but that's okay we can just click into this button section and then we have these arrows to move it up and down so we can just click on moving it down all the way to the bottom right here and then we can put in our text so it's going to say explore shop right here so I'll copy this and then I'll show you how to format this after we add it so right here in the button text I'm going to just paste in explore shop and then for the style tab and everything we can go in and change some stuff so first if you want to link it you can go to the link tab and then type in the URL that you want for the button to go to whatever page so keep that in mind and you can do this when you are ready for your page to be linked so whenever you create those for your e-commerce website and then down here for the button spacing and size we can come in and we can add our padding so you can do the top and the bottom with just one number and the sides or you can add them in individually so we can just click on this button right here so that we can do that so we can do 15 30 and then 15 oops right here 15 again and 30 and then you can see that it spaces out the button a little bit with some padding and I want to add the typography so I'm going to come into this bottom section and then for typography we are going to come in here and we can transform this to uppercase and then for the height or the weight let's go with 70 or 700 and that looks pretty good right there so now we have our section and we can add some spacing for this button also if we wanted to just like that and now you can see that this is exactly what we created right here for this section so it's that easy for the e-commerce website or WordPress website to use the Gutenberg page builder with Bloxy so now what we can do is we can add a section below this also so we're going to create a new section right here and add these little icons and stuff I think this is really great for your e-commerce website to highlight certain things with your website so if you want to do this we can create a new section at the bottom over here so we can click into this section right here and then we can add a new block so I'll just click on that and click on columns 
and we can choose whichever one we want so let's go with the four option one so let's click on this right here and then we can make it full width again so we can click into select columns so that we can change the width so we're in the column section and I can scroll down and choose the full width and then we can change it to center just like this and right here you can see that there might be another section I don't think there is but you never know so I want to just make sure so I did click on that section and I removed it I clicked on delete so you can see that we have some spacing here and we can remove this by just hovering over this and scrolling up so we can add our background color for this entire column if you want so in the column section I will go to the style tab and I'm gonna go into background color and choose the color that I want and you can kind of see that we have our four columns here still so we can just add whatever blocks we want so the first thing that we're gonna do is we want to add our sections or the blocks over here so I'm gonna click into the plus button click on browse all and you can see on the demo e-commerce website with WordPress we have the icon heading and a text section so over here in the block section we are going to find an icon so we can just select this and then once we have it we can click into it so over here what we can do is in the icon section of the block I can click in here and then we can search for the one that we want so we can type in something like payments so it's up to you which one you want to select and I'm just going to select this one right here and then we want to change the icon size so we can make it larger or smaller and again you can play around with this I'm gonna make it all the way to 50 and I want to change this to 50 right here and then in the layout tab right here what we can do is we can go to the content alignment and we can center this and then I can click back in here and click on the plus button again and then we can add a heading element and right here I'm going to go into the demo e-commerce website and just copy the secure payment text and over here I'll paste that in and we can't see that because the color is black right now so we want to change the font color over here to white also and then we can change this to let's say h5 and see how that looks and in the layout tab let's center this and we can probably change the spacing if we need to so we can click out of this and just check it out it looks okay right now let's add the other text module and then find out if we need to adjust anything so I'm gonna click back in here and then I'll click on browse all to find the text module again so I'll scroll down a little bit right here and then we will just copy and paste the text that says 100% secure payment and again you can add whatever type of information that you want so you don't have to put in this information and then we are going to come into the typography and I'll leave everything as is here so I want to just change the text color let's go with this color and then we can center this so we'll center this just like that and we want to kind of make everything a little bit closer that's a little too wide for me so I'm going to just drag the spacing up all the way so it just gets a little bit smaller so maybe all the way to zero right there and then we can also go and change this one to maybe 20 or 18 so we'll do that and the easiest way to actually make this so that all of them have the same settings is we can actually click into this and we can duplicate the section so if I just click into this and I click on the inner column right here I can click on the dots and I can duplicate this just like that and we can do it again and one more time and then we can remove these other columns so right here I can delete this and then for this one I can click in here and I can delete this right here and then we'll do it one more time over here and then what we can do is just change these icons and our text so if you want you can pause the video to do that and I'll just do it one more time right here so I'll click into the icon and then we can change the icon to something else so I'll just use the sum of the stuff here instead to make it a little bit faster and then right here I'll just paste in my text so you can see it has my return policy and then I will remove this and that's all we have to do so you can do it for these other sections also so if you want you can pause the video to do that and that's what I'm gonna do just to save a few seconds or maybe a minute and then we can go and create another section with our product section over here you can see it's a lot of short code and then we'll do one more as an activity together and then I think we'll come back to the demo e-commerce website 
We'll remove some stuff I think that I would not want on my e-commerce website. You can follow along. And that's pretty much all we're going to do for the page builder. And we can look at some other pages. But essentially, this is the video tutorial showing you how to use the Bloxy theme, the Gutenberg page builder and learning how to customize your e-commerce website. So if you think that you have everything that you need in order to go and customize and create your own pages for your online store, then you can go ahead and do that. But we are going to continue on with this tutorial for a little bit. Let me fix these two sections really quickly. And you can do the same if you want. So you can see right here that I added these two icons and now we can create our next section. So right here we have some space. And what I want to do is I want to drag this out a little bit to give it a little bit more space. And this is just like the demo website where we have 80 PX right here. And you can also add a spacer. So if you didn't want to do this and maybe you want to undo this and we can do that. So right here you can see it's back at 24 PX. I can actually go and add a spacer. So I can come in here and right here I can add the spacer. And then we have this space right here. So you can see right here that I added these two icons and some additional information. And now what we can do is we can come over here and we can add some space. So I'm going to click on the add button right here and then I can click on browse all and there is this gap module right here. So I can click on this and you can see that we have the spacer. So right here we have a spacer and I can drag this to about 80 PX. So let me just type it in. It'll be a lot easier. And there we go. We have the space right here. And now down here, if I click into this area, now what we can do is we can add some products to populate. So you can see that there's some short code here. This is WooCommerce short code that will populate based on the integration with WooCommerce and the Bloxy theme. So in the video description, there is a link to the short code for Bloxy. And I can just show you what that page looks like really quickly. And you can click on it yourself. So now what we can do is we can add another column over here for our different sections. So you can see that we have a two column section here and then we have some short code down here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create our next column over here. So I can click over here and just add a column and we're going to do a two column section and we can change the size of both of these. So we can just click and drag this if we wanted to like this. And I'm going to drag this to about 33.3%. And then over here, we can add some modules or text blocks. So we can click on the plus button right here. And I'll add the text module first. So we'll just add this right over there. And then I'm going to go into the demo website. And I'll copy. It says check out latest products right here. So we'll copy that. And we'll just paste that in. And then we can go into the settings over here on the right hand side. And we'll leave the alignment on the left. And then we can go to the style tab and change the typography. So I'll click in here and I'll change the weight to 500. And then if you wanted to, you can change the text color, but I'm going to leave it just like this. And then we can come back in here and we can add a heading element. So I'm going to click and just click on heading. And then right here we can add our module text. So I'm going to say new arrivals right there. And then if you need to rearrange or style any of this, you can come in here, but it looks pretty good just like this. So we can just come over here and we can add our button. So it's going to have a view all button. So we can come in and click on browse. And this is pretty cool. If you go to the button area and now what we can do is we can add our button over here. So I will come in and I'll click on browse all. And then we have our button right here. So we can click on that. And you can see that it's inserted like this. And what we want to do for the demo e-commerce website with WordPress is we want to move it to the upper right side. So to do that, we can come back in here and we have our settings over here. And once we have our button right here, what we want to do is we want to move it to this corner over here. So the first thing that we can do is we can change this text. So I'm going to type in view all. And then what we can do is we can go into typography and we can click on the typography and we can change the font style if we want. So I'll go with 700 right here. And then if we wanted to, we can also change the color. So if I want to do that, I can go into the section over here where it says button colors and then we can change this to white or transparent. So I'll just go transparent right here. So you can see that it disappears, but then for the text color, we'll go with black. 
and then we will add some button borders so I'll click in here and choose this and then the button border width I'm gonna try two for now but we can always update that and then we'll go with black right here and then if we like that we can go into button spacing and we can change this maybe to 15 right here and then 30 on this section and then to move this to the corner I want to go into I think the layout tab so let me come over here and then for the margin I want to put in 12 or 15 right here so let me try 15 and then once we do this I'm going to click into this button right here where it says button group and then for the content alignment I'm gonna to go to the end option so it moves it over here and once we do that we have our button and if we link this to another page then this link would actually work but we're just gonna leave it just like that for now and the other thing that we want to do is we want to add that short code for our website so what I want to do is show you again where you can go on the Bloxy website in order to get the short code that you see here to populate your products so let me open up a new tab so what you can see here is on the documentation page for the Bloxy theme, if we come over here and we go into the general tab for developers, we have the Bloxy shortcode. And down here, if you scroll, you can see all the different types of shortcode that you can use to add to your website or whatever WordPress or e-commerce website that you're making. So down here, you can see that we have the examples for a bunch of different stuff. And I'm going to just paste into the text tutorial the short code that we do use for our e-commerce website on this template. So you can always just come in and import whatever template that you want, and it should have the short code already. And I'll copy and paste this also. So when you do have the short code and you want to add it to your e-commerce website, let's say for using WooCommerce to populate some products or something like that, then right over here, when you have the plus button, go ahead and click on that. And then you can just type in short code right here. So we can just type in short and you can see that we have this option. So we can click on that. And then right here, you can paste that in. And what this is gonna do is just show four products and it's gonna order by date. So whichever ones are the latest products that you created. And if you want to change the order, you can do by categories or latest or anything like that, or even sales. And again, you should have all the shortcode information that you need here, but if you do need any help, you can always reach out to those that have created WooCommerce, the Bloxy theme, or even on the NYC Tech Club YouTube channel, you can leave a comment and we can always try to help you out. So we have this right here, and I wanna note that again, you wanna click on the save button, we haven't done that in a while, just to save our updates. And you won't see the section populate right here, right now. It's gonna stay as the shortcode, but what we can do is I can publish this, and I'm gonna go and actually check this page out just to see how it looks. So I'm gonna click on view page right here. So you can see right here that this is what the e-commerce or WordPress website looks like right now. So we have our section right here, which is our slider with our button and different modules. And then we have our icon section right here. And then you have a product section right here. So if you wanna get rid of the page title, let me show you how to do that because we haven't done that for our pages. So I'm gonna go back to the edit page right here. And for all of your pages, if you create a new page or maybe you want to make the title show up or not show up, on the upper right corner over here, you should see the Bloxy page settings. If you click on this button, it's gonna change the column to the Bloxy page settings right here. And then you can go into the page title and you can disable that page title so it doesn't show up. And over here, you can choose the type of formatting you want for your page. So we'll just keep everything else as the default. And then we can click on update right here. And if you wanna get back the original pages or columns that you had here, you can always click on the settings button and it'll bring you back to this page. And then we can click on view page just to see it update. And you can see now that the page title has disappeared. So what I wanna do now, because we have just learned how to use the Bloxy theme and the page builder and WordPress to really customize and build our own page because we could continue to do this. We can create new sections and do that. But what I want to do is just go and edit the home page just to customize it a little bit more. So this was an exercise and what I want to do is clean up the other pages and then maybe go through the about page and the contact page and see what else we can kind of point out to help everyone with their own e-commerce website with WordPress or their online store. And then we'll be good to go. So if you want to keep this page, you can. If you want to go back into the WordPress dashboard and remove this page, you can also do that.
So back on the WordPress dashboard right here, we can go and hover over pages and click on all pages. And to remove this page, and I have a few of them because I was playing around with this, I can just click on the ones that I want to remove and I can either click to delete them so I can move them to the trash. So we can do that. Or you can just unpublish them if you wanted to also in your settings. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to go to the main homepage, the real one that's actually imported from Bloxy. And let's go and maybe remove some stuff and talk about what we can do to make the design a little bit better. So I'm gonna click on edit right here for the front page or the home page. So now back on the WordPress homepage right here for the online store that we're learning how to build, you can go in and you can customize and add or remove any section that you want. So what I can do is down in this section, maybe I'll look at this and I'll say, I don't want to have these as articles, but I want to link this to different categories. So I can click in here and then I can delete the article section. So I'll delete that text for each of these and again you can pause the video or really just customize and add whatever you want now that you know how to use the Bloxy theme and the Gutenberg page builder and we can also maybe remove these images and change this text so I can come in here and I can replace this image with something else so I can upload some new images so in the demo content I have some additional images that maybe I'll select this one right here and I'll just click to insert it and I can keep it as jackets or whatever category name that you want. And then I can remove these other ones also. So I'll just replace all of these. So I'll select this image right here and then just replace this one also. And you can do the same and you can use whatever images that you want. You don't have to use the demo ones. And if I wanted to, I can change the text here. So maybe we can do something like handbags. And this is just for an example. So just keep that in mind. And then if I want to link this entire button right here to the category page, I can click into this and then I can click on the select image box. And then over here in the section, we can go into the style tab or the advanced tab and we can click to link this to the category page. So I can go back to the WordPress dashboard by opening up a new link. And then we can go to our category pages. If we hover over products right here, you can click on categories and then you can choose whatever categories that you want to link to. So I'm just going to take the first three and pretend that these are the right category pages and it's going to open up the URL for the page. So I can paste that in for this entire section right over here and then we can just keep it just like this. And then I can go and take my next URL, copy that, and then we can come into this one click on to the select image box and then right here in the advanced tab we can paste this in and then we can go into our last one and also do the same so that's how you can link this image box or any of these images if you don't see the link in the advanced tab then you want to try to click to the parent section and then once you do you'll be able to see the advanced section and then this link right here and we can put that in and then we can click to update this and that's going to just save everything and again, you can always change the background if you wanted to, or maybe you wanted to remove some stuff. So let's say I want to remove this entire section. I can click into it and then I can just delete this. And I didn't really like that anyway, so I wanted to remove that. But over here for popular products, you can also change the product limit. So the number of products that can show up, maybe we can do eight or even 12 right here. So let me just show you what it looks like. And I'm going to remove this section. I don't want this other section right here so let me see how i can get rid of all of this and once it's updated i do want to note that for the category sections if you want to link these you want to make sure when you click on the link right here that you add in whatever url you want and then over here there's going to be a little symbol or icon that you want to click on in order to really reset that or link that so right here you can see that there is a little arrow so again, I'm going to just show you really quickly. So I would copy in the category name right over here. And then you can see really hidden right there. It says submit. You want to click on that to link that image to whatever page you want. So keep that in mind. And then we have our popular products right here and we added to it. We put in 12 right here. So I'm going to remove some of these other sections really quickly just to kind of see what it looks like. So we can always add back in the spacer. So I'm going to delete that and then just delete these other sections also.
because I don't want this section. So the short code right here, I would remove also just like that. And then maybe even this section. And then for the newsletter section, let me remove this other space really quickly. And maybe I'll change the background image here to something else. So I can click into this for the columns and I can see that we have our background image. So I might replace that with this image and it might just be better for my website. So again, you want to replace the content so it looks good for you. And this is the newsletter sign up, so it will go all the way across. And if you want to know how to customize this, it's going to be using the WP Forms contact plugin. So we can go and check that out after we update this. So I'm going to click on update and I'll probably remove this section too. So I can do that really quickly. And again, this is just me customizing my web homepage for the e-commerce website right now. And if I need to change anything else, I can also do that after we go and check it out. So you can play around with whatever you want. And then once you're ready and it's updated, let's just click on this and then we can go and check it out. So I'm going to click on view page. And if I scroll through, you can see that we have our feature products or latest arrivals. These link to our category pages. And then we have a bunch of different products on the homepage that people can shop from right here. And then we have our newsletter sign up and then our copyright or footer at the bottom. So this is what my homepage would look like if I was creating my own e-commerce website with WordPress. And you can pause the video to customize yours, maybe swap out stuff, add your own products and everything. And what I want to do is I want to go to these other two pages, the contact and about page. I think those are important. I'll probably remove the services page and then we can show you how to customize the header menu section. And then we'll be done with this video tutorial on learning how to make your own e-commerce website or online store with WordPress. So I'm going to go into the dashboard now and we're going to go to our about page. So back on the WordPress dashboard, now what we can do is we can go to our page list and we can look for the about page. And once you're back on the WordPress dashboard, if I go to my pages list, you can see that this is the about page that is imported using the starter template. And with the knowledge that you should have now with the page builder, you can customize this online store about page however you want. And what I want to do in order to give you some additional exercise and practice is I want to show you how to customize and create this about page. So it takes a lot of the sections from the demo imported template, but we also learn how to create this from scratch. So again, you can go in and customize the starter template one that you imported right here or you can go and create this one that you see right here. And if you want to do this, we want to go and create a new page. So I'm going to hover over new right here and click on page, add new page right here. We can just type in our title right here. So I can type in about, or you can type in whatever you want for your page, even if you're not creating an about page and maybe you just want to go through this exercise together. So the first thing that we want to do now that we know is for the Bloxy settings over here, we can disable the page title. So make sure that you do that. And then we can come back to our settings and we can go in and create our own page title section. So what we can do is we can add a new column here. So I'm going to click on the plus button. And if you see the columns right here, you can add that. And then we can choose the type of column that we want. So I'm going to go with the one column option. And then right here we have the inner column. And what I want to do first is I want to go to the columns for the parent right here. So I'll click on that and then we can change this to full width and we can center this just like this. And we can also add some padding, but let's do that after we go in and add the inner column so that you can see the spacing once you have your blocks. So we can click to add a new block. And the first thing that we can do is we can add a heading, which is going to be for our title. So I'll click on this right here. And then we can type in something like our story. And what we want to do is come over here to the style tab and we can change the font size first. So let's type in 70 right here. And then if you want to change the text color, you can, or the typography, you already know how to do that. I'm just going to go to the layout and center this. And once we have this, now what we're going to do is we can add our background to this. So I do want to change the background color. I'm going to go back to the inner column and then click on the select columns right here. And then for the background for this entire section, I'll come in here and I'll select this color. 
And once we have our background color, now what we can do is we can go back into our inner column. So I'll click on the heading and then click on select column or the inner column. So I have this plus button right here and I'm going to click on this to add some additional columns. So I'll click on columns right there and choose the two column section. And once we have this, now we can add our image. So again, you can see on the demo website, I have this image right here and then some text right here. So I might as well just copy this text and I can just paste that in over here on this side. So I'll add the text module and then right here I'll paste in that text so we have that. So if you need to, you can pause the video to do that. And then over here I'll add the image block. So I'll click on browse all and over here I'll just find the image block and click on that. And then we can click in here and add the image that we want. So I have this demo image. I'm going to click on that. And once I add it right here, you can see that it's a large image and I want to actually change that. So what we can do is we can change the height if we wanted to. So you can see that you can change the height to whatever size you want. And then you can also come down here and you can change the overlay or even the focal point. So we can click on the pencil right here and we can change this to maybe a circle. And then if I don't stretch this, so I disable this, you can see that it shows up just like that. And that looks pretty good. So again, we want to add some additional spacing. So we can drag this if we wanted to, to give some additional spacing right here. And then we can add some spacing maybe to the top part if we wanted to also. So to do that, what we can do is we can click on the inner column right here. And then in the layout tab, you can scroll down to the block size and spacing. And then in the margins over here, we can add some top margin, so maybe we'll type in 50 right here. And then we can also add some bottom margin if we want, so I can do 50 also. I'm going to click on save right here really quickly. And now what we can do is we can add our next section for our employees. So again, you can see on the website over here, we have some space over here. So we have 100px and then we have another column with some text in our employees. So down here. We can first click to drag this if we want to give some more spacing. So we'll do 100px. So what we can do is we can come in here and we can add a text block. So I'll click on that. And then I will type in our lovely designers right here. And then I'll change the font size to 20. And then go to the layout tab and center this. And once we have that, we can move the spacing up after we add our heading. So I'm going to come in here and I'll add a heading. And now what I will do is just type in our team. So I'll copy this and I'll paste that in. And then again, we can center this and we can change it to H2, which it already is. And if there's too much spacing here, we can always move this up if we wanted to also just like that. And now let's add a row with some columns for the employee section. So I'm going to click in here and click on columns. And then we can choose the number of columns that we want. So I'll go with the four column option. And then you can see on the demo e-commerce website, we have an image, we have a heading, and then a subtitle section. So if we want to add that, we can do that one time and then we can actually duplicate that. So in here, we will click on image and then I'm going to click out of this so that I can click to add my heading. And then I'll scroll down and then again, I'll click out of this and then we can add the subtitle. So I'm going to click on browse all and just scroll down to the subtitle section and click on that. And now you can see that we have what you would see right here. And instead of adding it first, I'm going to duplicate all of this. So I can click in here and then click into, oops, I can click in here and then I can click on inner column and we can come in and we can duplicate this a few different times. So I'm going to do it four times. So just click on the dots right there and duplicate it. And then for these other ones, I'll click and then I'll remove these. So I'm going to click on delete for these ones. And then we can add our images, which we have as demo content. So in each one of these, I'll just click to add a module or a media image. So we'll add this person first. And you'll notice that the size is going to be different. So I'm going to actually change the height right here. But I want to add these other ones before we do that. So in the second one, we can add this image and I'll just do this really quickly. So again, you can click on to each of these and use the demo images also. And then we'll do it one more time right here. 
And again, you can see that the size difference for the heights are a little off. So I'm going to make everyone's this height. So I can just come in here into this image and in the height section, we can scroll to make it larger or smaller. So we'll do it just around right here. I'm going to eyeball it, but you can see it says 369 and that's a little not enough. So I'm going to actually make it a little bit larger. So 374 is what I'm going to make it and I'm going to copy this and then go into this next one and then I'll just paste that in right here. And then for this image right here, I'll do the same just to lengthen it. So you can see it looks just like that. And then we can click on save really quickly. And then we can just add our names and also their titles right here. So you can see right here it says Shelly Ann. And then it has about 4px. So I did drag up that spacing right there between these two sections. So it says Shelly Ann and we'll put in designer right here. But we have all this spacing in between. And I want to just make this a lot smaller. So I'm going to drag this up to about 14 or 4. And then we can center this stuff also if we wanted to. So I can center this and I can center this. And you can also link this to maybe a LinkedIn page if you wanted to or anything like that. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to add these other text modules or the text. And then we can move on to the last section. And you can see right here that I added some additional names and titles. And I also changed each of these titles to H4. And then I dragged up some spacing right here. So it only has 4px right there. So once we do that, now what we can do is we want to probably add some spacing in between these things. So I'm going to add a spacer for that section right there. So I'm going to click on the plus button right here and then we can search for a spacer if you want. So I can just type in spacer right here and click on this and then we can add some spacing. So I'm going to drag this to about 70 or 75 and then I'm going to move this up. So I'm going to click on the arrow right here and then I'll click on it till it comes to right here. And let's click on publish or save this. And I'm going to click on publish just so that it's published. And once it's published, I'm going to click on the view page button up at the corner up here. And if I scroll down, you can see that it just gives some additional spacing here. If you think that's too much, then you can always remove this also or make it smaller. So maybe you don't want this section here. I can always remove it. But what I do want to do is I do want to add spacing over here or at least some padding. So maybe we'll just drag this to about 100 just to give it some additional spacing also. So we can do that instead. And then down here we can add our call to action. So I'm going to come in and click to add a new column and we can do the one column option or what you can do is if we actually remove this, I'm going to delete this. We can go into the design library and use one of these pre-made block designs or templates from the Bloxy theme and stackable. So right here, we can click on any of these. So we can click on call to action. And then you can see again that these are premium, but any of these ones without the dots, you can actually use for free. So I can scroll down and see if I see one that I like. And if I do, I can just click on it and import it. So I'm going to choose this one right here. So I'll click on this and you can see that it gets added right here. And I want to modify the column section a little bit. So I'm going to click into this and then I'll choose columns. And in the column section right here, if you want to change any of the layout options, so maybe you want to have the full width option, you can. I'm going to go into the inner column. So I'll just click in here and then we can change the image or the background. So I'm going to go to style and then click in here and replace this image. And we're going to use this demo image right here and select that. And then I can change my text if I wanted to. So right here, I will just copy this text and then I'll paste it into my new call to action. So I'll remove this and then I'll do that for the second text module too right here. And then we'll customize that button that we see at the bottom. So we have this button right here. And if you want to change the layout to be similar to the rest of the website, we can first change the colors so we can select the color that we want. And then we can go in and change the button size and spacing. So right here, I'll type in 15, and we'll do 30 and 15 and 30, just like the home page. And then for the button border, I'm going to get rid of the radius so that it's actually a rectangle, just like that. And then you can link this button by coming in here and typing in your URL. So if I wanted to link it to the shop page, I can just type in my domain name and then the shop page, just like that. 
And once we have that, we want to click on that submit button and then we can update this. And once we do, we can check it out to make sure that the spacing looks good. So we have our title section at the top and then our employee section that you can link to other pages if you wanted to. And then we have our call to action down here and I'll maybe change the text to say something else. So maybe we'll say explore shop and then I'll click on update and we can refresh this just to check it out. And it looks a lot better just like that. So this is the about page for the e-commerce website or the online store that you're learning how to make or build. And I'm going to go and clean up the about page and then we can go to the contact us page, which is going to be the last page. So I have, a few different about pages here. I'm going to remove the ones that I don't want and I'll just move them to the trash. So I'll click in this and click apply. So once we're back on the WordPress dashboard, if we come to the contact page, we can go and check it out and you can see on the contact us page that it already has a bunch of stuff. And this is from the starter template, but we want to remove or change some stuff. So we can edit the call to action and remove the products and then swap out the image over here and keep the contact form and maybe move up the title and remove the breadcrumbs. So if you want to do that and it'll be good practice to work with the Gutenberg page builder and Bloxy, then we can click on the edit page button. And on this page right here, the first thing that we can do is we can remove the short code. So I'm going to just click in here and click on delete and then we can move up the contact title. So if I click onto the columns tab so that I'm in the main columns, I can scroll down to the block and size and you can see that it's edited because it has that yellow dot right there. We can come in here and we can remove the bottom or the top padding actually, and we'll leave the top padding. But if you wanted to get rid of that, you can. And then we can move this stuff down a little bit so I can click into this section and maybe click on the inner column section and then we can scroll down and see that we have the block and size right here. And what we can do is I think it's in the image actually that we need to modify this. So once I click in here, the first thing that I'm going to do is swap out this image. So I'm skipping around a little bit, but I'm going to add this image that I see that's going to look better for my e-commerce website. And then we can click into the blue section. And then we can click into the inner column and we can go to the style tab and we can change the background if we want. So I'll select the color palette six right there. And you can see in the layout for the inner column that the container has some padding, which is fine, but we want to move this stuff down. So I'm going to click back into the image and then go to the layout tab. And in the block and size right here, you can see that the margin is negative 50. So if I change this to positive, you can scroll down and you move it down a little bit. So it really depends where you want to put this. So if you want to move it or keep it, then you can. So maybe we'll just move it to a little bit less than what it was before. Something around negative 40 or something. So I'm going to click update and check it out. So I'll click on that to save it. And then I'll click on view page. And you can see that this is what it looks like. And that's fine. And if you need to, you can rearrange or move things around. So I'm going to go back to the edit page. So I just wanted to show you that here, but I'm going to keep it at 50 because that's what we had for the templates. So just in case you don't want to change anything and then we can scroll down and I'm going to just remove the text for this section. So in this inner column, I'm going to go and actually just click into the entire column and just remove this and see what happens. There we go. And the spacer right here, we'll keep it for now. And then we can come into this section and I'll remove this and also the short code right here for the products. And then we have two spacers. So I'll remove one of these and it depends on how much space you want to have in between these sections. And then right here for this newsletter section, I'm going to remove this and add that one from the design library. So I'll just remove this entire section and whatever else there is. And if you don't know what there is on your website, you can always click into the overview and you can see that we have two columns and then the spacer. So I will click out of this or I'll close this and then I will go to the design library and then go back to the call to action and we'll go back and find the one that we use for the about page. So I'll just scroll down to this one right here and click on it. And once it gets imported, I'm going to make sure that it's only the width and not full width. So I'll click into columns right here and that looks about right. 
so I can click into the inner column I believe and I can change the background color and I can click into the call to action I'm not sure if this is where the background image is but it is so I'm gonna replace this and we'll just use the same image that we have from our demo content right there and you can see that it gets added and then I'm going to change the button right here again so for the colors we'll go with the blue color and then we can change the spacing so I'm gonna click on this and then just put in 15 here for the top and the bottom and then 30 right there and then we'll make this no radius so that it's a rectangle with sharp edges and then if you want to link this to the shop page you can do that right here and just click on that button to submit that what I'm gonna do is just come in here and just type in check out our new designs and then down here I'll just paste in some text so I'm gonna highlight all of this just paste in the same text that we have from the about page and it's just demo text so it's nothing very special and that's all we have to do we can click on the update button and I'm going to just check on the document overview right here just to make sure that there's no extra space or anything like that and it looks fine so we can go and check it out by clicking on view page and you can see right here now we have our contact page so this looks great and maybe we want to add this to the home page so if we want to do that really quickly I'm gonna to come to the home page and you can see that we had this newsletter down here so I'm just gonna swap that out just for fun I'm gonna come and click on edit page and back on the home page I'll just do this really quickly and then we'll go and show you how to create a logo and the header menu and then we'll be done with this exciting video tutorial so I'm going to just remove this entire section and we're going to click on design library and I'll go back into the call to action and we'll just scroll down and find that same call to action it should be right over here elevate call to action one I'm gonna click on that and then I'm going to just make sure that it just doesn't go all the way across maybe we can go full width but I'm not going to here so in the call to action I'll go to the style tab and we'll replace this image with the one that we want and then we can just paste in the text from the about page or the contact us page so let me just paste this text in first since I have it and then for the call to action right here let's just type in check out our store and right here I'll just say explore more and we'll just change the button style and the colors so we'll come in and change it to blue and then the spacing I will change this to 15 right here and 30 for right here and then we'll get rid of the border radius just like that and again you can link this to the shop page if you type in the URL right there and then we'll click on update and we should be good to go so now we have our home page we have our contact us page the about page and we're going to remove the services page and we don't need the blog page but you can always go into your dashboard to create those pages or the blog posts so if you want to learn how to create a logo really quickly let me show you how to do that and then we can edit the header menu and then we should be good to go with this whole video tutorial so I'm gonna to go to this website called logo maker so this is the logo maker website and this is where you can go to create a free logo so there is a link in the video description if you want to come to this page and I just want to show you how to use it really quickly so you can click on start my design right here and what you can do is you can come to the page builder or the logo builder right here so you have your icon boxes over here for text shapes and your pencil and you can undo stuff and then you have your colors over here if you want to search for an icon what you can do is come over here and you can search for whatever type of design that you want so I can do something like a compass and you can see all the different compass designs right here so you can search for anything you don't have to do compass but once you find whatever the design that you want you can just select it and it'll show up over here and you can click to drag the corners to make it larger or smaller and you can rearrange it and move it around wherever you want to place it so I'll just put it right here and then I can add some text if I wanted to and you can see that you have this text box right here and what we can do is just type in our website name so I'll type in audio technica and I can change the font style over here so we have our designer picks for different types of font 
So I went back into the designer picks and I'm going to choose this April fat face font and I can drag this around and I can rearrange it or make it smaller or larger so that it fits with the logo right here. And then what I can do is I can also change the font color. So right here I can click and highlight all of this and then choose whatever font color I want. And then if I wanted to change the compass size, I can also just drag this to make it smaller. And so I'm not going to spend too much time here, but you can see how easy it is to create your logo. So I'm not going to spend too much time here, but you can see how easy it is to create your logo and change the colors and everything. So if you want, you can pause the video to customize and add whatever you want to your logo. And then once you have everything to download this, what you want to do is you just want to click out of it. And all you have to do to save this is just click out of it. And over here on the upper right, you have this disc to save your logo. If you click on that, you're going to see this little pop up. And right here it says download the resolution PNG. This is the free version. You can always choose the other options, but right here, just click on this and then just type in your email address. Click on I accept the terms. So I'll just type mine in and it's going to be nyctechclub at gmail.com. And then it says send file. So we'll click on that button. And now we can go to our inbox. And if you go to your email, you should see this email from Logo Maker right here to download the logo. And you can just click on this button and that should download that logo right over here. And then what you can do is you can go to your WordPress website now. And if you want to upload that logo, all you have to do is come to appearance and you can click on customize. And once you're on the customize page, again, down here in the general options, if you come to header and you want to change your logo, then right over here, you can see logo and you also have the logo here. So you can move it around if you wanted to, but all you have to do is you can just click into it. And then right here, you can edit the logo and you can upload the one that you want to use and you can change the height. So I won't actually do that, but just in case this is what you would do since we do have the demo page logo right here. Okay, so now what we can do is we can talk about editing the header section and also updating the header menu, and then we'll be good to go. So if you wanna do that, let's go back to the general section over here. And again, right here where we have header, we can click into it and you can modify whatever you see here. So if you don't want the top line, you can remove this just by clicking on the X right here to remove the HTML and also the social icons. And then that's going to make the section disappear once this updates. And if you want to add those sections back, then over here in your elements, you can always click and drag them back into your sections wherever you want to place them, just like that. And same with these other icons and modules over here. So that's all you have to do to modify the top bar and even the main section or even a lower section if you wanted to. So if you do make any changes, you want to click on the publish button right here. And then once you do that, we can click on the menu right here. And if you want to change the items over here, then we want to go to our WordPress dashboard. So if you guys want to do that, we can do that. We can go and create our menu or we can select the menu if it's over here. So click on the publish button to save your changes. And then let's close out of this and we can go to the menus page. So back on the WordPress dashboard to go to our menus, we can hover over appearance and we can click on menus. So once you come to the menus page, you should see a menu already created for you and you can always create a new one. You just have to name it and then you can select where you want the menu to show up. And as long as you select the header menu, then you should be good to go, but you can also select the mobile menu. So for this menu page, you can see that it says some of the items are not valid and that's because we created a new page and then I removed the template page. So this is an invalid link and I can just come in here and expand this and I can remove that. And I can also remove the services page since I don't have one of those. And if I need to, I can always clean up the pages over here. And we have a shop page and we don't have the blog post page. So I'm going to remove that one also, but I do have the about page right here that I created. So I'm going to select that and click add to menu. And you can see that it shows up right here. And then I can rearrange these however I want. I can make them sub menu items also. And then once you have your items that you want to show up for your header menu, and you can always come in here and you can change the navigation label and you can create posts or custom links or add your categories if you want. You can just click on save and that's going to update the menu. And once you have that, now we can go and check out our homepage. 
or any other page also and you should see that this updates and you can always change these colors for the link colors in the customize tab so what we can do to clean up our website is we can go to our pages list and I'm just going to draft or make certain pages a draft page. So maybe the services page, I can open that one up. And the privacy policy page, you can see that we have a draft one over here. So I'm going to just click on edit for this one. And then I will come into the privacy policy page and you can customize again this page however you want. So you can edit this and you can also create a terms and conditions page. So I'm going to make one, but I'm not going to add anything just so that we can set that in our WooCommerce settings. So if I create a terms and conditions page right here, and again, you can add your text or content, and then you can change your title if you want to customize it. I'm just going to click on publish right there. So once the terms and conditions page is made, then we can go into WooCommerce and set our settings. Before I do that, I'm going to go into the services page here and I'm just going to come over here to the page section and I'm going to change this to a draft because I don't want this page on my website to be a public page. And then again, you have the privacy policy page right here. So once we have these pages, we can go to our WooCommerce dashboard and I can set the terms and conditions page in the WooCommerce settings right here. So I'm going to click on settings under WooCommerce. And on the WooCommerce settings page, we can go to the advanced tab and this is where we can go to set our terms and conditions page right over here. So I can come in here and I can just type in terms and it should populate my pages. And then I can select that terms and conditions page and now that one's gonna be set. So whenever someone goes and creates an account or checks out, then they'll see that page link. And that's pretty much it. So we have just learned how to make our e-commerce website or our online store with WordPress and the Bloxy theme integrating WooCommerce. So you should be able to build an online store now. And what we're gonna do really quickly is run through a transaction just to show you that the online store or the e-commerce website with WordPress actually works. So I have some products here and I'm going to add this Bloxy shirt to my shopping cart and I can go and check it out so I can view the cart and you can see that we have the product right here and then we have the subtotal and our flat rate shipping and it's gonna to ship to New York City, and I can change this on the next page. So I'm gonna to click to proceed to checkout, and I will enter in my billing details right here, and then you can see that it's integrated with PayPal, Venmo, and it also accepts debit and credit card. So I will populate this information really quickly. So you can see I put in my address and my information, and now on the product side to put in the order, I just have to agree to the terms and conditions that I set for my website. And then I can select whatever type of payment option that I want. So we integrated PayPal, we have Venmo and the debit and credit cards. So I'll select the PayPal account and then I can put in my, and then I just have to put in my information right here and then also my password. And now all you have to do is just complete your purchase. So I'm gonna click on this button right here and once the purchase is complete, you can see on the e-commerce website or the online store, we have this notification that says the order has been received. And this is the receipt that the customer will see. And now if I log into the WordPress website, I can show you the order details with WooCommerce. So you can see right here back on the WordPress dashboard, if you log in after you have an order that is received, then you can come to WooCommerce and over here you can see that you have this orders. If you click on that and you can see right here that we have this order and we can go and check it out. So we can click on this link right here and you'll see that you have the order details. So we have the payment information, the billing information and the shipping information so that you can create a label. And then if you update the status right here, which you don't have to do, but if you do, then the email that is going to be sent to the customer will let them know that the status has been updated. So once you update this, you want to click on update right there. And you also have the product information right here so that you know what to ship. And you can add the shipping tracking data right here. And whenever you do have orders, you can also look at your reports and analytics. So the reporting has updated for WooCommerce and now there is this tab right here called analytics. So if you click on it, you're going to see a bunch of information that is going to update with your order information. So you have all these different options 
and these categories to go through the products, revenue, variations, categories, and so forth. So when you integrate WooCommerce with WordPress to make your online store and the e-commerce website, you're going to have your order information, you're going to be able to collect payments, and then you have your reporting and even customer information. So I just want to show you one that the website works and also some of the reporting information that you get so that you can keep track of your orders, the customers and your performance on the online store and the e-commerce website. So there you have it. You have just learned how to make your own online store with WordPress and the Bloxy theme and WooCommerce. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to the NYC Tech Club YouTube channel because we're always coming out with new videos just like this. Congrats again. I hope you make a beautiful and professional e-commerce website or an online store with WordPress. And I hope to see you in the next video.